Haley, a teenage Vermont girl fought back when she says a man tried to abduct her outside of her own home. And her lesson tonight, try not to travel alone. Yeah, and local 22 Stacy De Silva spoke with her today and she joins us now live from the newsroom. Stacy, what did you find out? Good evening to you, Mike and Lauren. April Smith says the short walk to the dumpster near her St. Albans home always made her a little nervous, especially when it was dark outside. And now she says she'll never do it again alone. April Smith has a message for you. Just remember people, walk in twos, <laughs> no right. where you go. The St. Albans 17-year-old says it was supposed to be a short to uneventful excursion Saturday evening, just a few hundred feet to the dumpster near her family's home on Hoyt Street in the dark. I was walking right here and then um, I was grabbed in this general direction and he was grabbing my arm and tugging me that way. That's when instinct kicked in and April says she poked the man right in the eyes and ran away. I just wanted not to be touched by someone I didn't know. I basically defended myself. It was already too late, uh, so we called the police. They showed up pretty fast, pretty good response. St. Albans police described the suspect as a white male, five foot ten to six feet tall, with medium build, wearing a black baseball hat, black hoodie, dark blue pants, and thick soled shoes. The case is currently under investigation. We are still looking into the case, uh, checking surveillance, and also still continuing with interviews. Lieutenant Ben Kucher addressed concerns this incident could be related to rumored attempted abductions at the Walmart in town. He says rumors were floating on social media, but Lieutenant Kucher says they're not accurate. He suggests if you feel in danger of being attacked, it's best to find any way to separate yourself before attempting to fight back. Get some distance, make some type of scene so anyone nearby will be able to hear, flee and go to the closest house, store. As for April and her family, they're hoping security cameras go up after this incident and that people always take precautions. Never know, it's happened right outside my house, so it's very scary. It makes me want to move, quite honestly, it mm -hmm. does. It, it scares me. April tells me her stepdad, Rob, who you saw in that story, and her boyfriend, Ryan, taught her self-defense skills that she thinks helped her in this situation. If you know anything about this case, you're asked to call St. Albans Police. Live in the newsroom, Stacey DeSilva, Local 22 News. Back to you. Patriots